uh, it's gonna take more than that to keep Gus down. Barbecue? Is Tamashi Comic Con over yet? Please. No more. No more. Oh, I'm getting too old for that shit. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foolish Weekly. As always, I am Robo, and uh, I was gonna do a news video Wednesday. I thought, man, there's already a lot of news. Tamashi Comic Con was coming up this weekend, but then I thought, surely they're not gonna show a lot of stuff, right? Wrong! Dumbass. I'm a dumbass. And I've already gotten comments on Twitter and the YouTube page and everywhere else you can find me of, man, this week's gonna be a hell of a weekly. Oh, I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. So let's give this a shot. We're halfway there. We have some DC collectibles, we have some Mezco, we have some Medicom, we have some Hasbro, we have some NECA, but most of all, we have a little bit of Bandai to talk about. DC Collectibles has revealed their DC Essentials Shazam and Black Adam 2-pack. Now, if you've listened to me ramble in the past, you know that I think the DC Essentials line is no Icons line. At least judging from the prototypes, the hips are gappy, the arms seem too long. I don't know, they just look oddly proportioned, and this being a 2-pack, uh, secret? They're both the same figure. Okay, different heads, and granted, in the comics, they're essentially color swaps with different heads. This is set to release in January of 2019, and it'll cost you $45. But to change my mind, the sculptor Paul Harding has posted pictures of his review samples, or early samples from the factory, of the Batman, the Reverse Flash, the Flash, and I think there's a Deathstroke, but I don't think I have a picture. And what's going on here? Why don't they solicit them or show prototype pictures that look like this? These look amazing. Where did that gap in the hips go? Those faces look fantastic. Yeah, they should have came out of the gate like this, not showing skeletal marionette-like figures that look pretty well sculpted, but they look like articulation was jammed into them. I don't know what them <laughs> jammed into them after the fact, after the sculpt. So I don't know, I, I'm, I'm interested now. God. Here's either a further along prototype or production samples of the Storm Collectibles Injustice 2 Lobo and Darkseid. I don't know much about the game, but this Lobo is looking awesome. For those of you who have been waiting for a Lobo figure and knowing Storm Collectibles track record for quality figures that hold up, uh, amazing articulation, great sculpt, I, I may be in for this Lobo. Dark side, I'm probably still keeping with Mezco, but what you gonna do? Which segues directly into how good was that? Mezco has solicited their 112th collective Marvel's Logan. This is kind of the reason I passed on their old man Logan. Sure, that figure's nice, but I was waiting on, you know, Wolverine, Logan in his cowboy hat, the belt buckle, the jacket, the sleeveless tee. Yeah, th this is my Logan. Now, he does look pretty sparse on accessories. He comes with the head with the calm face with the hat sculpted on. He comes with an unhatted head. Is that a... <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. With the gritted teeth face, which looks, I, I don't know, a little bit odd. And then the patch head. The, <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. They don't even show any pictures of it until you get to the accessory page. But a patch head makes me want a tuxedo body. I, I am never satisfied. He's got the dog tags. He's got a leather jacket where the zipper looks a little too big. But I'm good without the jacket, with him just with the shirt. That's... Mm, that, the belt buckle, the boots, the cowboy hat, that's what I'm paying for. That's what I wanted. That's what I'm getting. He does look like he comes with two different kinds of hands with blades coming out of him. He's got the straighter, thicker blades, and then he's got the thinner, kind of spread out blades. I'm not sure about that, but I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. This is set to release November to January of 2019, and then, of course, it'll run you $80. Also, for Mesco, just this morning, I got my email for the Deluxe Joker will be charging here soon. And word is, he'll be shipping early June. But skipping a little bit back to Wolverine, to Logan, uh, 112th Era, who apparently makes some, I, I, I hate to say bootleg, a, a kind of a third party unlicensed type thing. They make 12 inch figures for uh, various movies and such. They have shown a 112th scale Logan. Now what interests me most here, besides it being a Logan figure and looking pretty good actually, is the seamless body. Apparently there's a skeleton with rubber on top of it. I've never had any experience with a figure like this. I've always been too scared. But they showed pictures of this I, the pictures look awesome. He's got the dog tags. He's got cloth clothes that look a little bit 
Mm. He's got actual die cast metal claws. He has one one scale dog tags for you to wear. Joining the fun. But they put all these pictures up on their Facebook page and then directly pulled them down. Now I don't know if they got hit with a cease and desist or what, but I, I was interested, but then I was like, oh well, too bad. But it has popped up for pre-order. I can't remember the side, I'll have the link down in the description. But they're selling it for $55. This seems like a lot of uh, technology, a lot of uh, a lot of toy for $55, depending on the actual finished quality. But I hear from people that buy the one six scale stuff that they're pretty happy with their products. So I'm, I may have to give this a try. And that's set to release quarter three of this year. Metacom out of the blue and continuing their Dark Knight trilogy just obsession it seems like it seems somebody in the boardroom went you know what that dark knight trilogy that's a hell of a set of movies let's just make everybody this week they solicited the dark knight rises bruce wayne in suit and uh raish Roz, however you want to say it I, in his training slash final test gear both figures are looking great but uh, metacom is uh you know hey this is a dude in a suit this is kind of a dude in a ninja suit. Let's throw in some extras. Bruce comes with his cane, but he also comes with parts that you can uh, put on the original Batman Begins Batman and make it into the proto suit Batman. With the web gear, the tech stuff, the ski mask. I'm not wearing hockey pads. But he also comes with another chess piece that has another bat emblem on it that they're saying is for Batman 3.0 that hasn't come out yet. Now, I don't know every little minute detail of all the bat suits, but from what I understand, it didn't change much from the Dark Knight to the Dark Knight Rises, so I don't know what this extra chess piece is. Now, Liam Neeson comes with, <laughs> notice what I did there, just Liam Neeson. Comes with a masked head, he comes with an unmasked head, he comes with a sword, he comes with a broken sword. So altogether, this essentially makes me want the Bruce Wayne, you have to buy another Batman Begins if you want a separate prototype Batman suit on the shelf. You're already buying another Begins because Scarecrow comes with the gear to make Demon Batman out of the Begins suit. You have to buy another Joker 2.0 because the police Joker comes with the arms that just the sleeves underneath the jacket to swap out with the Joker 2.0. You need another Bruce Wayne to make a lead training Bruce Wayne, which makes you need to buy another Ra's Raz for that body, and then you have an extra kick-ass Liam Neeson head, Metacom. Sly dogs. Now these are $70 each and they'll be, well, they're supposed to be out March of 2019. So that gives you plenty of time to buy all your extra figures. Sticking with Metacom, here's a con picture of the Mafex comic book Spider-Man with the unmasked head just looking all majestic and shit. I don't even care he has metallic blue. It just looks fantastic. NECA this week teased their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive and it appears to be uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie turtles in seven inch scale it looks like he's pulling out a big ass vcr case slip cover type thing it looks big enough for four seven inch scale turtles i'm <laughs> completely good with that no info yet but i'm sure it'll be announced soon the hasbro star wars black series solo l337 figure was revealed on the star wars show earlier this week and then we got promotional pictures the next day i think it was looking cool I, i'm down with more solo figures i didn't notice until somebody commented that her upper arms are are two legs or the design of r 2s legs that makes you kind of look at it and go oh there's something nostalgic about it also just today revealed was emphasis nest and her swoop now this went up for pre-order a couple weeks ago but then hasbro had everybody pull it down here is the final product the swoop looking fairly large it looks awesome i, I dug it in the movie flying around yeah i saw the movie my short review is i had fun i enjoyed it i look forward to people telling me how wrong i am <laughs> calm down i'm just kidding Kinda. But this is $60 and should release sometime in June. And then today on Hasbro social media, they did this big, here's all the solo figures, and it reveals Val from the movie. Probably more info coming with that, but you'll also notice down here that there's an empty slot. Uh, most people are guessing that's for Rio. I'm down for more alien characters on the shelf. In fact, that's part of the cool thing about this movie. More alien characters. In 20, 30 years, people will be clamoring for that one guy in the back of the Lando scene. Uh, why don't we have him yet? It all comes full circle, my friends. Full circle. Tamashi Nations has announced uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Wasn't expecting this. We saw magazine scans at first. And then we saw coming soon pictures, and then it was actually officially solicited a couple nights ago. Just amazing, amazing looking figures. I know some people gravitate towards the later movies when they're older, more mature, but to me, 
this is Harry Potter as, you know, that first year, that kid, you know, just wide-eyed and learning everything. You know, like us, learning about that universe. Now, Harry himself comes with a wand. He comes with Hedwig with uh, two sets of wings. There's a down relaxed position and then there's a widespread wing position. He comes with his Nimbus and then an alternate robe piece for whenever he's sitting on it, it's swooping out behind him. He comes with books and then he comes with either three faces or three heads. It's, it's a little bit, mm, it's probably faces, maybe, or heads, whatever you want to, uh, yeah. And then in the coming soon picture, he also had a sorting hat. That seems to have disappeared in the final solicitation. So I don't know if that may be some kind of exclusive or it comes with somebody else. I, I don't know, maybe it was a tease. He'll cost $50 and release in October. $50 isn't bad. Yeah, it's a smaller figure, but look at all the accessories. And then there's Ron, looking all cute as hell. His two faces, it's just so Ron. But like I said, two faces, uh, wand, books, comes with scabbers. Somehow that and Hedwig mount on the arm somewhere or stay up or maybe it's magic. And then a broom and the same kind of flowing robe to change out. You know, that. You can't see that on camera to either. Flowing robe. $50 November. And then we get Hermione. Hermione? She also comes with an alternate face. She comes with her wand and a feather. I, again, maybe there's some kind of clear piece to make the feather Leviosa. Did, did I say that right? It's been a long time, okay? Give me a break. Or maybe it's photographic trickery. Or magic. Book bag, book, Philosopher's Stone. $50, December. I see a lot of people asking, you know, oh, they have to get to Hagrid or Dumbledore or Snape or all these other kind of characters, but I'm, I'm kind of afraid, which <laughs> I say this going into Tomashi Comic Con next and all the damn reveals they did there for Star Wars and Avengers. Harry Potter being what it is, they may get that deep, but Part of me also thinks, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy or Suicide Squad, where they'll do these three, maybe a few other versions of these three, and then just move on. Hopefully not, but I'm kind of a pessimist when I'm not being an optimist. And then Bandai at Tamashi Comic Con has shown a, a bunch of Avengers of Star Wars stuff. If you like this Foosh Weekly, comment. I'm kidding. What you don't know and what has been edited out is I actually took a break. I had to go back and make sure they haven't shown any more shit. Because, oh my god. On top of the stuff that they're showing again that they haven't even solicited that they've been showing for years on some of the items, they're just pumping out the stuff just like, hey, we don't care. Let's just do these prototypes. Let's keep people in work but not actually sell anything. So as a word of warning, some of this stuff has been shown for a while, but never officially solicited. And I'm afraid that a lot of the stuff that they're showing this weekend will be the same way. Maybe not so much for Avengers, but the Star Wars stuff, who knows when we'll get 80% of this. So pretty to look at some awesome reveals, but don't get your hopes up. Like me, I'm sitting here just, um, I want a Jar Jar. And I'm probably going to forget something because there is just so much to go through. So much that we're going to do it in song. Ha <laughs> ha! First they come along and they show the wasp who goes with Ant-Man. And they're showing the ant that's an overseas exclusive. Overseas being us. Uh, no, we're not going to do that anymore. Now before the show, they actually announced it. They called their shot. They said, hey, we're going to show Thor, War Machine, and uh, I just had it. Falcon. And that they did. This may be the best looking Thor I've ever seen. And look at the cloth cape. It doesn't have that segmented shingle look. I know some people don't dig on the cloth, but um, mm, that looks scrumptious. Yeah, I said scrumptious because somebody suggested that I say scrumptious. I'm just here to please y'all. It even looks like he kind of has a funky eye because of what happened in the movie. I don't know the statute of limitations on spoilers anymore. I'm, I'm old. Falcon's looking pretty awesome. He comes with his pistols, uh, the wings. And then War Machine. I'm one of those guys that can't really tell the difference between <laughs> War Machines we've gotten and War Machines now, the changes and such. I still look at Iron Man and go, 50? Has there been that many? Is it that different? And speaking of Iron Man, they showed a new Iron Man, Mark 50, from Infinity War, and he comes with different attachments. He's got long arm blades, he's got some stuff coming out, there. he's got his clamps on the feet. And people were asking, is this going to be an accessory pack, or is this going to be add-ons to the Iron Man we're already getting? It uh, doesn't appear so. The placard says Iron Man Nano Weapon version. So I figure if this releases, uh, this will release later on as its own entity. Same with Black Panther. They showed a different version of Black Panther with the vibranium purple power coursing through the suit, unmasked head that looks amazing, but the placard says 
Black Panther King of Wakanda. Again, a separate release beyond the one we're already getting and the one we already got in Civil War. We've already seen Hulk before, but man, looking awesome. I can't wait for this. Because if the Thor Ragnarok Hulk, which I'll be reviewing next week, looks freaking amazing. If Based on that, this should be awesome. Way better than the first Avengers Hulk we got. They're showing a Wasp looking amazing to go with the Ant-Man they already showed. And I like how the placard for the ant that they're showing with Ant-Man says overseas exclusive. In this case, we're overseas. It's blowing my mind. Makes sense, but I'm a small town boy. Interestingly enough, most of the placards for these figures say display only, which is kind of the kiss of death. <laughs> oh, well, I guess they'll get around to that at some point. But for Wasp and Hulk, and then back to Falcon, those all say coming soon. So to me, that's kind of like, oh, those are in the pop line. They already have uh, a, a release date internally. It hasn't been announced yet, but hopefully they're coming soon, like the placard says. Nick Fury looking all awesome. I'd be happy to put an actual nice Nick Fury on the shelf. Out of the blue is a Captain America First Avenger USO version of Captain America with the loose fitting suit kind of that classic look, but in real life. And then we're getting more Guardians of the Galaxy figures from the first movie of the same characters we already got. There's Star-Lord in his trench coat with the headphones. There's Rocket in his orange suit and his big ass gun. There is a tall, tall Groot that looks hot toys quality. This thing looks amazing. We already have Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Star-Lord, Groot, and Rocket Raccoon. Uh, what about Drax and Gamora? Not like Drax isn't a visually interesting character. Same goes for Gamora. I mean, they would make awesome toys. Come on. And then we get to Star Wars. <laughs> They're still showing stuff that they've shown before but haven't solicited yet, like the Jabba with his tail that looks like a wrapping paper tube that's been beat to hell too long. You know, it goes from sword to nunchucks to whip. But I'm sure they'll do something like throw a Salacious in there and then I have to buy this, even though I'm okay. Well, I'm perfectly fine with the Black Series Jabba. Here's Jakku Ray being shown again. I, I, I just want a good version of her on the shelf. We've gotten many, none perfect yet. Here's a whole row of characters that we've seen, like Han from The Force Awakens, uh, Finn in Stormtrooper gear, the various Astro Mechs from Episode 1, the Queen Amidala. But in this picture, if you look down, there's also a black Astro Mech droid down, down at the bottom. I need that one. I need the green one. I need the orange one. I, I, whatever you give me, because that's the best Astro Mech droid. But if you start looking up at the Episode 1 stuff, they're also showing a TC-14. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... She just adds to the rest of the protocol droids that they've shown at shows and haven't released, like the various forms of C-3PO. But also up there is a Darth Maul in full-on robes. Why just release the Sith Speeder, where when he was sitting on it, he had the big heavy robes, but then release, or well, tease another Darth Maul with the heavy robes. I love you, Bandai, but I hate you too. <laughs> you bunch of bastards. Surrounding the new Vader, we just got uh, two royal guards. I thought they were, you know, actual figures with the cloaks over them, but if you look at the placard close, it says figure art zero, so these are actually just statues. Hey, cheap enough, I'll flank my display with one or two. But you also see, peeking out the bottom there, Boba Fett, and beside him is Han and Carbonite. The Boba Fett is Return of the Jedi version, which we've only gotten from Metacom. No one else has done a Return of the Jedi version yet, so Bandai going for it first is a little bit weird, but at the same time, I don't think it'll beat my Mafex. That figure is amazing. It's still in my top 10 all-time figures. And then the Han, and then the Han, I nearly said Han, and then the Han and Carbonite has his own separate placard, so I don't think those come together, or maybe they do, who knows, or if they even ever come out. Keeping with Darth Vader, there's also, I, the, the first Darth Vader came with this elaborate window with steps and such. Here at this show, they're showing an Emperor on Throne behind Luke and Vader dueling. A lot of people have been wanting a new Emperor. I'm good with whatever Bandai wants to give us. And looking in the seat, he looks to have elbows and maybe shoulders and wrists, but no more articulate. He looks like a piece of plastic sitting in the throne. And then he suffers from S.H. Figuarts Kylo Ren syndrome with the big hood coming up above his head. It just... It just looks weird. In some shots, it looks like his forehead goes up that high, but I think that's just the inside not painted on the prototop. We've seen this before, but here's episode three, Obi-Wan, with his I have the high ground face, or his heels are alive, with the sound of 
Music. Same with Count Dooku. I, he still looks odd in the face. The body looks a little bit segmented, but it's Count Dooku. We need one. Uta Pau Phase 2 Trooper, along with a Shock Trooper. Looks like the A New Hope Stormtroopers are getting an upgrade. I, they look to use the Rogue One Troopers with the very long crotch, but the helmets are looking better. But people tell me that the Rogue One Trooper is a little bit larger, so hopefully it's better in scale with if you mix displays. If you don't, it's perfectly fine for your figure arts display. Can you tell somebody's commented and won't let it go? <laughs> the Stormtroopers are too small. It's you who's too small. Spirit of Obi-Wan. I had a little bit of surprise, but it also makes sense. Uh, they're making the you know, individual body for Obi-Wan, old man that should be coming out in a few months. Hey, just fill the mold with translucent blue, pump those out, sell them, get some more money back. I can't blame Bandai for that. R5-D4, like I was saying about the Astromechs, they're my favorite versions of R2 or whoever else they want to give us. Hey, slap an R5 head on it, I'm good with that too. Even though I have the model kit, perfectly fine with it. Uh, I'll take a figure arts. Now flanking these two droids are Jawas, which came out of nowhere. They look good, but I say that, they look a little bit cartoony. The texture's too large, it looks like the droids cartoon, as Matt K would say. But it's two individual Jawas. One has a pointy hood, one has a more flat, different bandoliers. So hey, if they want to give this as a two-pack, I'll take it. Also out of the blue is Wicket. Wow, they really went all out on this one. The colors, the sculpt, I mean, they even put them on a log, which I'm sure is just display on the log and holding the cracker. I mean, what more could you ask for with a Wicket, except for his spear? Like I hinted at, Jar Jar. Yeah, I said Jar Jar. Somebody actually took the time to make a Jar Jar. Now, I'm not Jar Jar's biggest fan, but I don't hate him, so I want it in plastic form. I'm surely there's a different head where he looks goofy or the tongue sticking out, but him looking like this, where he was just, you know, standing in the background or, you know, actually calmed down for a moment, I'd, I'd spend my money on it. How's that? Of course, I know what you're thinking. It's a Star Wars figure. You're going to buy it anyway. Shut up. And then before the show, they actually announced the crate force projection Luke. I saw somebody comment that this was their version of Old Man Luke, that in their mind, this is how he would look, not the other version. And I kind of agree with that. It, it pulls uh, the look from Return of the Jedi a little bit. It pulls from different Luke, but he still has the robes. I'm completely good with this release too. I, I, yeah, in fact, starting to like it a little more than the one we're getting this week next week somewhere and then also before the show they hinted at the greatest jedi master or something like that and the font was in green uh so we kind of knew this but oh seeing it in plastic form i need this yoda sure it's a prequel version sure it has closed eyes i'm sure if they did release it it'd have a different head with eyes open but you know what get a third party cloth robe get a cane get the snake or take the parts off the black series one and you have yourself an original trilogy Yoda. One that kicks ass. One that can actually move. Yeah. Mm. This is the one that hurts the most. This one in Jar Jar. And the Jawas. And the Royal Guards. Maybe some Stormtroopers. I think that's it. Probably not. But that's the biggies, I think. They're all biggies. What am I talking about? Now, in a run-up to the Comic-Con, they showed the X-Men logo, and everybody thought, oh, including me, I'm not without guilt. We were all hoping for an SH Figure Arts, and it's actually a manga realization of Wolverine. I should have known, but not bad. I like how his points and stuff lend to this design. Except for the nipple rings. Those are kind of weird. They also revealed a movie realization C-3PO. I kind of like this. I don't know why. I don't get into this line much, but why? <laughs> and there you go. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too, too long. Hopefully you're still here. If you are, I congratulate you. Now the Tamashii Comic Con is still running. They may show more stuff on the last day. Um, maybe we'll do a quickie. Maybe we'll hook up, meet up, you know, don't tell anybody. And if not, uh, Hopefully there's stuff for the next weekly. It's going to seem <laughs> pretty small compared to this one. So if you like this Foosh Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the Foosh. All of those SH figure wards. I'm not sure if I did or not, but I tried my best. There's just too many. I can't imagine what it'd be like to see all them in person. But me in Japan is probably a bad idea.